Alright there guys, Sowers here, and I'm doing another gameplay analysis for you today, and this time it's going to be the good side of Derm, because I haven't done this side yet, so I'll get straight into it for you lot, and I'm just spawning in with the PP90, and I'm about to rush outside of the Derm, I'm just throwing a couple of stuns over the top, because I didn't get a very good start there, so instead of just rushing straight out, uh, I looked up for a couple of stuns to stop the enemy team rush, but looks like they're trying to nade, just going to try and push out here while I've got a bit of support behind me, um, don't quite pick up the knife, but um, I get clipped by a nade, so... Yeah, nades and stuns, you're going to be quite prone to them on this map, so really, when you're weak, just take your time, don't want to be running about too much, but yeah, we managed to push as a team then, to take down the guy at plat, so we've got a bit of control here, so I'm just going to hold this up, stay alive as long as I can, uh, it looks like I'm last one alive, so I didn't manage to stay alive there, uh, but luckily we got a good spawn at loading, because we held it, so really on this side guys, like I said on the other one, um, loading is the key to this map, if you hold loading, you're going to get good spawns near your flag to defend it, and as well, um, you're going to be the team spawning loading and the other team will be spawning at the far right side of their dome. So that's why loading is so important on this map. It's all about where you're spawning and getting control of that area. Um, so I've just picked up an AI now so I'm just going to try and hold this up for my teammates. And I see ones at the back of satellites. So I'm not going to challenge him. Just going to try and hold it up. They're going to be pre me, there's no doubt about it. So just trying to stay alive as long as I can. And with my teammates who just picked up a couple of kills there. So it's worked out pretty well. Now there's three dead. And there's the last guy now. I'm going to make the push on him, pick him off. That's four down. And so now we're going to get the setup because they'll be spawning up any time now. And it looks like they're spawning Derm, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. So maybe they did the uh, the other team maybe get a bit of a lucky spawn. But right now I'm just going to try and watch Jerd's back as he pulls his flag out. Um, not much more I can do here. I'll have called out to my other teammates um, just to watch the cutoffs from mid map and our flank. And McGee and Jerd both picking up kills there. And uh, there we go, three dead. And the last guy is in their flag again. So key example right there, guys. When you get that opportunity, just hold that loading. Don't, you don't have to push into dome, you don't have to waste your death, because me just staying alive there, we have, look, we've still got the loading control now, I'm spawning at the loading base side. And that is the key to this map. If you keep that loading spawn, you're going to get control of the map. SK managed to take three of us down there, so it looks like we've got the bunker spawn, so... That's another key thing, obviously, nading the spawn, so that nade there just pretty much gave us a pretty decent spawn there, and that's quite a common thing that a lot of teams are doing now. Um, so if you're wondering why teams do that, that's what it is, just to give your teammates a good spawn. Uh, right now I see my team's watching the loading so I'm going to try and watch our back for a bit. Uh, just use a couple of stuns there just to check if anybody's in a corner or something and I see one on the flank there so I'm going to try and uh, pick him off with a nade. Just clip them as they run away but not going to do anything rash, we've got the lead here, we just need to hold them to the lead. It's about adapting to the situation you're in. The other team are the team that need to push at the moment, not us. Um, so luckily I managed to take down Toby there but there's one more trying to push in and um, my teammate's in a good position to try and stop this. Looks like we're going to spawn the bunker, but my teammate's going to try and give me a good spawn. And it didn't work out that time. So it doesn't always work out when you throw the nade on the spawn, but um, a lot of the time it does. So the other team are pulling our flag away after they got the loading um, area. And we're going to try and make a push here on the flag. I managed to pick up two kills there, but it looks like the flag area has managed to put that in. But we're in a good position here to get a counter cap here. So just pushing down that flank, sometimes it does work, pushing the flank, but you got to do it at the right times. But the other team got the loading spawn once again, it just showing how important it is. Shutting us down straight away just because they got the loading spawn. So, um, Luckily we've managed to get it now after killing a couple of them. So we've got to try and hold this up here and see what we can do. Managed to take, that, take down the guy back red crates. I'm not going to rush here, I'm just going to wait for a bit of support from my team. And now I'm going to push in and try and see what I can do. Managed to take one down but there's another player in there, I'll call that out to my team. And it looks like we've still got loading control so we should get a good spawn here. And... McGee picking up a kill, so yeah, I get loading spawn again, but I see my teammates have pushed up, so I'm going to watch the flank here. So just because I'm an SMG doesn't mean I have to keep bombing out loading and trying to push up to their flag. Sometimes you've got to adapt, and right now I've just changed my mind and came back out to support the flag runner, and picked up that vital kill to get the flag cap there. So like any map, using your radar is really important, especially on this map as well, because it's so fast paced on them, stuns and nades can change the map, so every decision you make is going to be vital. Um, but like I said, holding the loading side of this map is the key to the map, but at the same time you want to be watching your flank, watching for those sneaky pulls, but it doesn't matter that you're an SMG or you're an AR, everybody needs to play their role on this map. Um, it's as simple as that really. So right now I see my team are holding the loading base, so I'm just going to watch the flank here. I'm expecting one to flank, and I clip one with a nade at the tank there, and finish them off as well. And that's three downs to the last players over at loading, so I managed to pick this AR up here, which is pretty fortunate. Should allow me to lock down the loading a lot easier with an AR. Um, and I'm going back just to pick up the kills in loading because oh, it looks like my team took them down so now I can just watch down the line pick off a nice kill there, three down for SK now so we're going to try and get a bit of map control once again 
take down uh, one off spawn there. Um, so it just shows on the loading spawns they can spawn there. If you if you're not literally sat on the loading spawn, they can spawn there. So right now I'm gonna, not going to rush this flag. I'm expecting the other team to still be in their base, but time's run out now, anyways. But yeah, the loading spawn is key on this map, guys. You want to be getting it, and you also when you're pulling the flag, you want to make sure somebody's blocking that loading spawn as well, because the other team can spawn there like they did at the end there, and get a quick return. But yeah, thanks for watching that, guys. Um, please drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next analysis. Thanks for watching.